technology that when uh, radio was there and TV didn't exist and TV came in, I mean, uh, the kind of programs that came on TV were actually the radio jockeys coming, holding a mic and <laughs> talking, speaking out the news. Nobody had the idea of how TV can be used to uh, actually program content and do different kind of, uh, uh, build, build a very different communication channel than what existed. So I think even in social media, we are transitioning from the current old school media where we are very comfortable with how advertisements go on TV, how we interact with people through existing mediums, but we are not yet sure how we are going to use Twitter, how we are going to use Facebook or other social media channels and uh, what the outcome is going to be. So I'm pretty sure that over the next couple of years, the whole, the, the, there are going to be a lot more tools around these uh, channels uh, that uh, change it, change the experience completely and I think as long as people are open to experimentation and learning from these experiments, it will turn out to be a very, very enriching and very uh, different kind of uh, uh, experience in using this social media thing. And just to add one more thing around what Vijay was saying around community powered stuff, uh, we actually use this service called Get Satisfaction which allows us, which, which allows our users to post questions and uh, us to answer it, uh, thereby over time, uh, the community of our users, they automatically start to understand how things work and when similar questions come up in future, they come back and answer to our other customers. So it's effectively just completely bypassing the traditional way of uh, responding to customers. It's customers talking to customers and telling, hey, this is how uh, you use this particular thing in life, not necessarily telling them.